The Guam Judiciary's Marshals Division is the latest beneficiary of what's called the 1033 program, which allows the Department of Defense to transfer excess weapons and supplies to state and territorial law enforcement agencies. GPD Captain Eric Fisher is the coordinator of Guam's 1033 program. Out of the short time frame that we have been receiving and requisitioning equipment through the Department of Defense, we can safely say that that total value to date is excess of $4 million. This is $4 million savings to our communities. But why, you might ask, would court marshals need the heavy firepower of M-16s? Because, as Chief Justice Robert Torres pointed out, it's a different world out there today, and the court marshals need to be ready for it. Our marshals are also tasked with having to apprehend fugitives. And receipt of the, some of the assets that we've gotten, the bulletproof vests, the rifles that we've received from this program, levels the playing field. We know the type of weaponry that exists out in the streets, and uh, we were clearly uh, outmatched uh, previously. Not just the Marshals Service, but GPD, Customs, seven Guam law enforcement agencies in all have taken advantage of the 1033 program. That includes the transfer not only of weapons, but bulletproof vests, vehicles, and other law enforcement supplies. Carlos Torres is the Western team lead for the Defense Logistics Agency, located in Battle Creek, Michigan. It's his agency that approves the disbursement of these supplies. The DRMO is the Defense Realization and Marketing Office, which is a disposal avenue for all the DOD, all the services, the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. And if there's no use for it, it goes to the DRMO. And in many instances, this property is still serviceable. And in some instances, it's brand new. And it costs, and the good thing about it, it costs the, the state, or in this instance for Guam, it doesn't cost you anything. We have received uh, approximately or close to probably half a million dollars worth of supplies. This is our, our latest addition um, to the, the courts. So I want to thank you, uh, thank your office, uh, thank the Department of Defense, and thank all of you for, for actually coming up here and, and actually seeing our needs. So thank you. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.